everyone. Welcome to Carmen Catherine's Reeves. So, Memorial Day is this weekend, so I'm going to be wearing this red, white, and blue hat that I got from the Dollar Tree to honor all of our women and men, there are women as well, that have died serving our country. And that's even to our vets that have um, passed away. They served our country too. So Memorial Day is to honor all of our vets that have passed, okay? Women and men. Please, everyone, keep in mind that every man and every woman that has passed has left a mother, a father, brothers, sisters, children, and they even have um, grandchildren because some of our men and women served even when they were older, you know? So um, there are a lot of families that are mourning their loved ones. So please be respectful of today of Memorial Day. It is a day to honor all of those that have passed that served our country. And I am a military spouse. And my family and my husband's family, a long line of all military branches. And I have lost many family members um, that have served, and so has my husband. Matter of fact, my husband lost two of his uncles last week, both military vets. Um, and as you know, in uh, March, we lost one of his other uncles. So please be respectful because every one of them lost. They have family grieving for them, okay? And like I said, that's somebody's child that passed away. So be respectful, honor that, and try to be as kind and loving as possible to one another. So my heart, I hear each and every one of you. I love you all. Welcome to my channel, everybody. I have been gone for a few days. Um, as everyone noticed, my face was breaking out. My hormone level's up. Because of the brain tumor, um, I am going to be starting some new medicine and I have some more blood work um, at the end of the month. So please keep me in your prayers for that. Um, this is normal, everybody. <laughs> I have a brain tumor. I have what's called Cushing's disease. So this is normal. I have a cycle of hormones. But we are getting some blood work done and um, possibly another MRI just to make sure that the brain tumor is not going into... Um, okay, so with Cushing's disease, this is my second brain tumor, and it's inside the pituitary gland. It's inside of it. Your pituitary gland is about six millimeters big and dangles right here in between your eyes in the back. And um, my tumor is 12 millimeters big, and it's inside of that 6 millimeter um, pituitary, so it's completely squished out. And this is the second one I have. If they remove it, I will have no hormones whatsoever, and I'm already diabetic because of everything. So I will have more complications if we remove it. So what we do is we treat the symptoms, not the problem. All right, but something's going on. I don't know if it's the tumor, if it's growing. We won't know until I get the MRI. I have um, a bunch of lab work coming up, which also can mean, because um, I also have a growth in my adrenal glands, and that also creates cortisol. So we don't know if it's the adrenal glands or if it's the brain tumor. But just keep me in your prayers. I'm alive. I'm happy. I'm here. That's the most important. All right. So um, over the past week, actually the past couple days, I have shared with a lot of people on my community page and also on my Facebook, um, Carmen's Crafty Friends on Facebook, this pull through burlap wreath. Okay. This is a custom order that I got in that I made for one of my girls. Um, they are getting transferred to Virginia and she wanted she picked out what she wanted and I made this for her to go on her new home congratulations honey I'm so happy you're buying a home I'm so happy for you 
but I personally made this. And in the center of this beautiful burlap wreath will go her initial of her family, which is going to be an R. And we're going to custom cut that out, me and my husband are, because it's got to be big enough to fit into the center. And this is actually a four, this is a Dollar Tree frame. And I used the 5.5, and I have one roll left, 5.5 of your Walmart burlap. And it is 30 feet. I am going to be doing a tutorial as soon as I get some more burlap on this. And you're going to need three rolls of your burlap from Walmart. Okay? The 15 feet. And they carry it in stores. You're going to need three rolls of that. If you go to um, Hobby Lobby, remember, we're doing 30 feet and we're using three of those. So that would be 90 feet total of your burlap. And then you're going to need... Five, five feet of two different color ribbons at two and a half inches. Uh, preferably, I would get a burlap ribbon to go with the burlap wreath, okay? And I use, I bought mine on Amazon because I don't live near any Hobby Lobby or anything like that. And I used five yards of the black, and that's the black burlap ribbon, two and a half inches, and then about five yards, probably less than five yards of the black and five exact yards of your um, striped to make the bow, all right? I will be having a tutorial as soon as I get more supplies to make that. I put it up and I got so much response from it that as soon as I get some more materials in, everybody, I will do a tutorial on that for you. Now, it takes three rolls. It is a pull-through method, but I do mine a little bit different. You don't need any floral wire or anything like that. You don't have to attach a ribbon. I, I'll show you all that. It's a really neat thing. Um, I honestly have never made one before, so when she asked me for this, um, I played around with the, the burlap for about six hours, and I finally came up with something. And I had watched a couple tutorials, and I'll go over that when I make that up. I'll let you know the ones that I watched to get the idea. But most of them that i seen, they use two rolls. And to me, it was a little bit too loose. And if you use three rolls, it's a tighter fit. And I don't do the twisty thing. I, the ones that I see people pull it through and then twist and then go under, I don't do that. So we'll go over that when I do the tutorial. Now remember, I will, because I did see one lady and I need to figure out the name. I posted it on Carmen's Crafty Friends. I saw the way she did it and that's how I started playing with it and got the idea. And like I said, she uses two rolls and she uses floral wire. So I'm going to honor her because I, I got the idea from her, even though my technique is a little bit different. All right? Always honor somebody. So I'm not copying because it's not, it's, it's totally different, just so you know. So when we do that, that'll be fun. I was not going to do it because it's not, it's, you have to get used to the way you put it in because it's so, so different. Um... But because of the response, we will be doing a tutorial as soon as I get the supplies on that. So today we are going to do a couple pieces um, honoring Memorial Day. Now, you know, like I said, my husband is in the military. He is active duty. And this really is dear to my heart. So we are going to do two different flowers that are for Memorial Day or 4th of July, either one it could be used for. We are also going to be doing a cross to honor our fathers that have passed, or you can even give it to your dad as a Father's Day gift for his door. Um, so we will be doing a red, white, and blue in that as well. Plus, I have a small flower we will be doing, just a regular flower. But we have three important pieces to do. So I'm going to turn the camera down because we're going to go over the material you're going to need for this piece. 
Now what I did want to tell everyone, I am so happy. Paper Mart has lowered their shipping. Thank you. <laughs> they heard me. Thank you, Paper Mart. I was so upset because I was phasing out of your, um, your mesh. And I have used you from day one. And I'm on a limited income. And all my followers are on a limited income, too. They lowered their shipping. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Paper Mart. I appreciate that because I really don't want to use anyone else's. I love your, I love your mesh. It's soft to the hand. It's not net material. You have the prettiest two-toned mesh. You're my number one. Thank you. So those of you that don't like to use, um, like standard mesh, they sell metallic mesh too, okay? And their prices are awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Paper Mart. Thank you from me. Thank you from my whole channel. We appreciate that. We love your products. Thank you. All right, everybody. So their 10-inch um, mesh is $1.41 for their 10-inch standard and their 10-inch two-toned. All right? It's all $1.41. It's $1.41. 68 for the 21 inch same for the standard and same for the two-toned so go and buy while they're still in stock um i just let everybody know on my page they were thrilled they were already going to buy so i bought today my gold mesh i needed for my saints football <laughs> my saints football reefs and my christmas reefs they have a gold uh, the pretty gold that I use on Carmen's Touch of Class, everyone, and I told you you had to get the right color gold or it looked orange. It is on sale. They're 10 inch gold metallic for $1.79. Buy it while you can because it isn't going to be there very long. Also, they're emerald green and 10 inch. They have that. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you. They have almost all the colors. Except for the royal blue, I think they, they sold out. But if you go under the royal blue with metallic, it's $1.99. I think I saw some there, some for with their metallic in it, 10 inch, okay? So I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to show you what we're cutting. Today I'm going to use um, fuzzy fabric eyelash mesh. But believe me, everyone, I will be using Paper Mart, too. I have plenty of Paper Mart, and I missed them. I missed them because I was running out of colors. So, again, thank you, Paper Mart. Thank you. You're godsend. Thank you so much. Everyone that uses Paper Mart, underneath the comments, because Paper Mart is subscribed to my channel, put thank you, Paper Mart, for lowering our shipping. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to lower this down and we're going to get started. Hello, I'm all smiles. Yay! I missed you guys. I'm starting to feel better. My face is starting to heal up. So, on new medicine. So, my hormones hopefully will go down a notch. My estrogen level right now is... My estrogen is five times the normal amount. That's why I'm starting to break out. That's also why I look young all the time. Is because I have an increase of hormones. Um, so, uh, I get blood work again. It should be going down to normal. Because I can't have brain surgery. So, like I said, keep praying that it's going to fix itself. Alright? Um, turn the camera down. We're going to get started. I'm so happy to see everybody. Hi! Okay, we're going to go ahead and go over this. Now remember, I put a list of supplies on the community page. And at the end of each tutorial, at the very end, after I say have a blessed night, you'll see um, a picture and then the supply list. And then you'll see uh, thank you for watching. But it's at the very end of the video, I have a supply uh, page on there on every tutorial. I they used to be at the in the beginning. Now they're at the end. Also, I put a list on um, Carmen's Crafty page for everybody as well. All right, we have had um, some electric issues too, everyone. 
the last couple days. You know, that tropical storm that's brewing in the Atlantic near um, Louisiana and Florida and everything. Well, I'm in Georgia right at the tip. I'm 30 minutes from Florida. And we have been hit with that tropical storm for days. So our electric's been going off and on. Our cable's been going in and out. And we've even lost our telephone. So, <laughs> supposed to be raining all weekend for us so I'll be doing a lot of crafts for you guys but anyways if the lights go out or if you hear any thundering it's because we've been having storms on and off all day all right so just so everybody knows this roller right here is a triple roller and I also use a single roller and I got these are gifts that I got from Miss Joyce and her husband Jerry Howard. She is on SD and she's also on Instagram and it's called Joda is the name of her mesh holders. And um, she's on my Facebook too. So if you need her, she's on the pay on. She watches all my tutorials and she will you can put any questions on there and she'll answer you back. She's on my YouTube, okay? So anyways, the the three the three roll holder is shaped a little different than the one I have, but it's almost the same thing. Like, I can actually use this one for four, but this is actually a guide bar. So what they did is she changed it down a little bit so it's not so big as mine, so the shipping will be less, but it's on sale. The three mesh holder is, is $35 right now on sale and the single mesh holder is 25 all right so if you're interested in buying that you would buy that from um, Miss Joyce and her husband like I said you can always um, say I'm interested how can I get the information and I'll put it up there and I'll let her know and she'll find you all right so this is called eyelash mesh eyelash mesh is a new brand of mesh I have been using and I get it from what's called FuzzyFabrics.com. And it's a metallic mesh. And I've never seen mesh like this. They're actually the only ones I know that sell this brand of mesh. And it's very beautiful. As you see, this is why they call it eyelash mesh. It's metallic, but the mesh in between the metallic are like threads, like eyelashes. So you don't get any fray and it doesn't snag because there's no mesh to snag. Now when you, when you cut it, you'll see little eyelashes, but that's it. Those are eyelashes. That's not mesh. That's not fray. That's how it's made. So you can actually take, because everyone's like, Carmen, that mesh is expensive. It's $4 and I believe $0.49, cents, but come on everybody. I cut it in half and I could use 121 inch rolls as two rolls. So it would be like $2 and 20 something cents. It's not bad at all. And it's beautiful. I fell in love with this. So it looks like lace. Now I can't always make my, my project like this. Like I said, I, I'm on a budget so I can't always use it. But I will be using it in some of my projects you've seen in the past, and some now, and some in the future. So I buy it, and in between different projects, I'll use this mesh so you can see how pretty it is. I absolutely love it. So with Fuzzy Fabric, um, their shipping is $6.95 no matter how much you spend. Um, they didn't have a number I can call them, but they have a live, like, little live operator Thing. If you click on it, there's somebody always there, and you can talk to them if you have any issues. It's six ninety five in shipping, and if you order two anything two hundred and up, it's free shipping, and you get fifteen percent off. Okay, and that that'll be all on their website. It's fuzzy fabric without a s dot com. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cut this in ten inch. So, because this is 21, it'll be 10 by 10 and a half inch squares. So, I'm going to move this to the 28. Alright, and this is beautiful. So, I know everybody's going to go, oh my gosh, i got to have that mesh. Because a lot of you have already bought this. I have pictures. 
tons of pictures from the very first red, the patriotic carnation I did. I used this mesh. So we're going to go from 28 to 17. That makes it 11. Or you can do exactly 10 if you want. Now remember, this is metallic. Also, this is a power cutter that I use. I think this one needs to be charged up. All right. This is some beautiful mesh. As I said, absolutely no fray. It doesn't matter how you cut it. You're not going to get it because there's no mesh to fray. There's eyelashes. All right. That's why it's called eyelash mesh. So I'm going to cut one more piece with the works. I'm actually going to let you go and probably do this because our cable guy's coming. Like I said, we have no telephone, no internet, no cable for three days. It's been on and off. And we have lost our electric at one point, too. So I'm going to cut this one's at 26. I'm going to cut at 15. Let me move that rock. And as you see, you hear it because it's so thick with that metallic. But it's absolutely beautiful mesh. No fray. So I went ahead and I pre-cut. I bought red, white, and royal blue mesh from Fuzzy Fabric in the eyelash. Alright. What I like about this roller, everyone, is I can roll these when I'm done. Just roll them back up under. I love this. I love that you have you can have three rolls on there. Like I said, I have their older model, so I actually can take this out and use it as four, but it's not meant to be four. It's meant to hold your mesh down in place. It's like a guide, all right? So you're going to take your mesh, and yes, you can cut all four pieces at once, but remember, this is real, real thick metallic underneath. I just want to make sure everybody understands this is very, very thick. So you're going to take it, and it's a 21 inches, so you want to make sure you get it right at that 21 inch right here. I hope everybody can see. I'm going to put another little rock here and one here. We're going to move this down. You can tell I'm back to myself. I'm starting to feel better, everyone, so thank you for your... Your prayers, I have been getting a lot of messages because only a few of you knew I was really sick besides not having electric. So right at your ten and a half inch mark is where you're going to cut it. So it's going to be ten by ten and a half. And that's how you get it. Beautiful. See that? That is eyelashes, not fray. Eyelashes. It can't fray because there's nothing there to fray but eyelashes. <laughs> so I'm going to go take this and we're going to get started on that. For all my new people, we're going to go over this. So as you see on my little mat here, after you're done cutting any type of fabric, doesn't matter what kind of fabric you cut, you're going to get your little teeny tiny fabric particles. All right? Let's show you this. Oh, we're going to go over that too. We are only 80,000 views away from the $50 Amazon gift card that I'll be giving away to one lucky subscriber. These are fabrics that you get from cutting your mesh. All right? That happens with anything you cut. doesn't matter how you cut it. And if you go on to my community page, I posted both of the tutorials on both of these products. My husband and I discovered a way to cut up to 15 pieces of your standard mesh at one time using a carpenter's tool. We are the first to ever do that, and we did commercials on it. All right, this is your rotary cutter. This is your power cutter. Look, it's the same thing. Your zip snip by work stays charged up to about 10 hours, sometimes 12. You're going to clean it after each, after you're done using it. Not every time you cut it, but after you're done with your project, cutting everything out. 
take a clean paintbrush, get behind it and get on front of it, get those fabric particles out of there, all right? And this is your skill made for, this is your skill power cutter made from skill. Each of them come with a charger. Let me show you. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you everything so you can see it. Because everybody asks me, and it's really hard to show you in a picture when I can just show you how you do it right on the video. So it comes with a little charger. And this one is your zip snip. It needs to be charged. There's a red light. When this turns green, it's completely charged. All right? This keeps its charge between 10 and 12 hours for your zip snip made by works. You can purchase this from Home Depot, Walmart.com, Amazon, eBay, um, and Walmart. All online only. These are not bought in stores. They're online only products. All right. I am giving a zip snip made by works. I'm giving it away as soon as we hit that five. As soon as we hit that 10,000 subscribers, all right, we're giving away a zip snip. Where am I? That's what I want to say. We're actually, far as our subscribers, we are at 9,525. I think I need 475 subscribers, and I will be giving away a zip snip. As far as our views for that $50, $50 gift card, I am, I'm, I'm very close. We're 80,000 views away from getting uh, a $50 Amazon gift card. So we got two drawings coming up. We got our Zip Snip Made by Works at our 10,000 subscribers. And like I said, we're only 480 away from giving this away. And then we are 80,000 views away from giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. We are doing really well for only being 11 months old. We're doing extremely well. So thank you to all of you. This is a skill, everyone. This is your power skill. Uh, now, I will be giving one of these away. And that will be at our 12,000 subscribers. I'll be giving a skill power cutter away. That is more expensive, all right? So uh, we're going to keep having these giveaways. And at our 1 million subscriber, after we hit 850,000, I mean views, at our 1 million views, sorry, not subscriber, we'll be given another $50 Amazon gift card. And then at our 15,000 subscribers, I have a package that I'm giving away worth up to almost a hundred dollars worth of crafting tools in that package will be a glue gun a, a cordless glue gun that you can get from hobby lobby that's normally 40 to 50 dollars i'm giving away a glue pot for your glue i'm giving away a bag of glue a whole bag of glue and not the glue that not the glue sticks I'm giving away a bag of glue for your glue pot I'm giving away a bag of zip ties and I'm giving away a cable tie gun all in one package when we hit our 15,000 subscribers and I'll probably add a bag of glue sticks in there too for the glue gun just say I love you and thank you for being part of my family so I'm giving away a big package at the 15,000 subscribers. You have to be subscribed to win any of the projects, everybody. Please watch because the only way I get paid to even buy supplies is by you watching the commercials at the beginning of the page of my tutorials. I get paid anywhere from 10 cents, a penny to 10 cents, maybe a little more, when you watch the commercials at the beginning of my tutorial. That's the only way I get paid. And that's what buys my supplies to making all the tutorials and that's what buys the stuff to do the giveaways, all right? 
And like I said before, we're in slow months right now. I think 140 to 160 is the max I make right now until crafting season hits. But the more you watch, the more I get paid if you watch those commercials. And the more people subscribe, the bigger the channel and the more it goes up. So just think about those people that have 30,000 subscribers. They're making quite a bit more than what I'm making. Actually, a lot bit more. But anyways, you do want to buy, if you need to buy replacement blades for any one of these, you can buy a replacement blade from Works, and you can buy one from Skill as well. In order to change it, you're going to put a screwdriver behind this blade and one in front to loosen it up and take this off and you can replace the blade that way. Also, every three months on your skill, you're gonna do exactly that. You're gonna take the cutter apart and clean behind it because pieces of fabric can get behind there and it'll become riggedy and it'll not cut straight and it'll be wobbly when you're trying to cut. That means there's fabric cut behind the blades, stuck behind the blades. Same thing with the works, right? Um, the Works is right now, it's on sale for $30 if you go straight through Works for the Zip Snip. Their normal price is $34.95, Walmart, Amazon, um, and even their normal price at their store. If you have Amazon Prime, it's about $38 with your shipping. Skill. The skill that I will be giving away and the one that is the best one for your price will be the skill. Um, power screwdriver with cutter attachment. It's the same exact thing, everybody. It's about $38. Runs between $38 to $42. It's worth it. Their skill stays about 18 hour charge far as for your crafting. So 18 hours of cutting you get out of it. It's a little bit longer. And same thing, you clean behind this and if you need replacement blades, you can buy it from them. This particular skill is an old old one that my husband had for 10 years we came up with it he long story short when you first start a channel you need to come up with something that's originally yours to make you different from other crafters because you don't want to do the same thing everybody else does all right you have a hard time getting in this business you really do and we spent a lot of money trying to figure out what would be the best cutting tool and would represent my channel and we tried rotary cutters the scissors everything and my husband came in and said honey what about this you bought this for me for christmas 10 years ago it looks just like your rotary cutter i was like give it here next thing i knew that's what we started working with so originally this particular one is about 60 to 80 dollars um, but you can buy the power screwdriver with cutter attachment for about $40, and it works just as good. So at our uh, 12,000 subscribers, at our next one, after we hit our 10,000 for this giveaway, we will be giving away a skill next at our uh, 15,000 subscribers. Okay, so no, 10,000 subscribers, 12,000 subscribers is a skill. 15,000 subscribers is like $100 worth of crafting stuff. And that's approximately almost $100 because remember, I still have to ship it off too. I think we added it up and it came up to like $95 worth of crafting stuff in a package I'll be giving away. And then we have at our 850,000 views, $50 Amazon gift card. I can mail it to you, anyone, wherever you live. That's the great thing about the internet. I can mail it. I can email you the $50. Um, it's whatever is easier uh, for me that I can do. You can live in Spain, and I can email you a $50 gift card, and you can use it on American Amazon to buy stuff, all right? So that's a great thing that I wanted to do to say thank you for watching my channel. So at... 850,000, like I said, we're only 80,000 views away from hitting the 850,000 views. We're doing awesome. Um, I will be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. At our 1 million views, I will be giving away another $50 Amazon gift card. And then, as you know, it's like 
almost a hundred dollars worth of stuff when we hit our 15,000 subscribers and then I'll think of something oh and then we have another giveaway after all five giveaways I'm giving away a peacock reef which is retailed at almost two hundred dollars and this is what everybody's been telling me it's a two hundred dollars is what it's retailed and it is my design I designed this I am the first one to do this and the first one of its kind I have three different peacocks tutorials on peacocks on my channel this beautiful peacock reef will I will be giving away on December 12th it will be a Christmas present for one of my subscribers you have to be subscribed to win any of these products or any of these prizes that I will be giving away this is my personal work this is my design I designed it I came up with the peacock reef that looks like a real peacock this is mine it is on my channel um, there's three of them this one particularly has almost 12,000 views, I think. Um, but that one is a $200 value. I, will, I pay for shipping too. So on December 12th, I will be giving away a peacock reef, that particular peacock reef, to one winner. The deal is you have to watch all 12 videos, all 12 days. I will try to go live for those this time. It will be simple little crafts. I'll try not to keep it too long, everybody. If it's not live, it will be on like I do now, pre-taped. We're going to see how I can do with my laptop. We're still testing that out. Um, and you'll put your name in the comments on the video on YouTube so you can't even comment if you link it from my from Facebook to YouTube because I'm not doing Facebook live you actually have to be on YouTube I will post that on my um, on my craft page on Facebook and you can go in there and watch it and you can comment but you have to be logged into your YouTube account and you can comment and put your name in the comments. All names and comments at the end of the 11th day on that 12th day after I do my video, I will announce the winner of the Peacock. So you have to watch it and you have to put your name in there every day. So that's getting you to watch it. I'm giving away a $200 Peacock. You can at least watch the reef. So watch those 11 days. I'll put out a tutorial, watch them, put your name in the comments. On the 12th day, I'll uh, let you know who won it, and I'll mail that out to you. And it'll be a nice, beautiful Christmas gift. I'm really, that is one of my favorite designs that I've come up with so far, is the peacock. And those that's all artificial, no peacock was hurt, everybody, okay? So I am going to go check on my baby because he's crying. Like I said, we ha have been going on and off. My husband just left. And I know the cable guy's on his way here. I'm going to do a little bit of a... Move this over. I think we can see from there. Yeah, we can see from there. So this is a 10-inch 3 ring we're going to be using today. All right, I'm going to move all this over here. If I can, I'm going to try to move the camera over more so you can see more on this side. I think we're good, though. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think I would be fine working from right here. Just want to make sure that you can see this. All right, so I'm going to go check on my baby. I have four Dotsies. Those are my fur babies, as you know. I'm going to move the camera out a little bit so we can see. I can make sure you see over here where my hand is, in case I got to... That way when I'm right here working, you can see me. I just want to make sure you can see me. And then we'll get started. Red and white, and then we do blue in the center, and I have a surprise we're putting in the center. I'll go over alternative centers you can use for this beautiful piece. I'm very excited, so I'll see you in just a few seconds. Okay, everyone, sorry I had to start that over a couple times, our electric, like I said, we've been having a lot of storms. So I started this yesterday night, we're going to finish it today, and then I have some more treats we're going to do. And what I did was, I did a lot of it off camera, and we're going to do some of it 
on camera, as you can see. And I've used this, um, I've used this design a lot. But this is our red, white, and blue that we're doing flower, and it's easy. And we do all zip ties. So you're going to take your 10 by 10 and a half inch squares that we cut because we used a 21 inch mesh to do this. And it's the eyelash mesh that you get from Fuzzy Fabric. Also, like I said earlier, thank you so much, Paper Mart, for lowering your shipping back down so all of us can afford it. Because I have a lot of people that have watched me for 11 months and we all use Paper Mart because the mesh is a lot softer to touch on your hands and to me it does not fray as much so I really love their products and like I said even with their shipping so I bought I think it was like 20 it came up to like $29 and it was $9.75 for standard shipping that's not bad, so I was really happy. Actually, I think it was, yeah, $29. It was like $10 for shipping, but if you add it all up, I'm paying $1.40 a roll of 10-inch mesh and $1.61 a roll of 21-inch. So if you add the shipping in, like I said before, it's like $1.98, 10-inch, and it's like $2.02 for 21-inch if you actually add it in and divide it up. So you're going to take your mesh, and what I did is I was playing with my screen so you could see it better. You're going to take it corner to corner, you're going to pull, and this is the eyelash mesh, it's metallic. You're going to pull corner up and corner down. You're going to start to roll it in, because we're making the spearing method. Roll it in, and pull on each side. Now, if you're using the four inch, the four wire frame, you can skip a bar. Usually, what I do is I skip the second bar because um, I saw a lot of you were asking questions about this method I used on my um, on my other. Come on, I can't even think of it. Poinsettias. I did two points, Christmas poinsettias, and they're beautiful. There's two different ways to make it, and I use the spearing method. Yes, if you're using a four-wire frame, you can skip the second wire, the, the second bar, or you can skip the third. I usually go to the first bar, skip the second, and then go right to the third bar. So now you're going to take this, as you see, we're doing two petals, so make sure, I use the rocks to hold it down, or paperweights, you want to make sure corner, corner, pull, pull, and then start rolling in, in the center, you're going to start rolling it in, and you roll it all the way in, pinch it, pull to your sides, I make sure I put the prettiest side going on the front of your flower. Under your bar and always crease where you want to, you know, in, you're going to adjust it anyways, but I always put a nice little crease where, so as I pull it in, it goes to that crease right there where I hold it. Now I'm going to adjust it up because I want the two pieces, let me move this mesh over, I want the two pieces to kind of overlap and be the same size so you have that pretty white or that pretty red showing. So the first one is going to, underneath on your second bar, is going to have the smallest tail. Okay, it's going to have a little bitty tail. Make sure that you have a tail on there. And then your second one is going to have a small tail. They're going to be the same. So you want to kind of shape it. Make sure you have a tail inside before you put the zip ties on. You can take both of them together as they're overlapping on top of each other. Now, and you can even move this where it goes like this, the outside over if you want to do that. And I'll show you how to do that. But you want to get that zip tie on 
first because that's what's holding both pieces together and then you can play and form your pretty petal and like I said you can put them where they're just laying on top of one another or you can overlap the back of it now we're doing both of them together over that bar here because that's what's going to hold it in and take your table tie done make it as tight as you can and we're doing six in a section so now I'm going to take it like I said overlap cut your little strays and that's not fray those are little strings because we're working with metallic and take it over see what I'm doing taking the inside and just pulling it over and that'll give it a darker red or a darker white okay and it's okay if the lines go together or if they crisscross this looks just like lace doesn't have to be perfect you want it to show because it's a lacy type of mesh it's a beautiful mesh it's absolutely beautiful the only place I found the eyelash mesh like I said is on fuzzy fabrics we will be using a lot of my favorite is paper mart I'm so, I am so thrilled I'm just thrilled um, that they lowered the shipping that just touches my heart so you're just going to go through it adjust your petals make sure that they're overlapping now I didn't put two on one bar because then it's going to take a lot more fabric and plus you don't see you want to see that pretty looking design it gives it when it crisscrosses even it's just beautiful it looks just like lace some of them will crisscross over and I'll show you what I'm talking about and some of them just lay exactly as the stripes are going inside the mesh the metallic I love it absolutely love it it's a beautiful beautiful mesh with a beautiful design so I'm going to pull this one over just where it lays on top of it and this all see what I'm talking about look how that lays see it it's just beautiful absolutely gorgeous so there's that now we're going to finish up on this little section and then we're going to work here. So it's six in each section. But remember, because we're using in six, so this is six, 12, 18, 24. So you have 24 pieces of white because you're doubling it up and 24 pieces of red that you're going to cut. So if you're going to use your 10 inch rolls, you're going to need one roll of red and one roll of white and you'll cut it in 10 by 10, all right? I used my uh, 21 inch roll and I cut it into 10 by 10 and a half inches and I used half a roll of the red and half a roll of the white that we cut. So I have enough to do another wreath. And I actually cut more than enough, so I'll show you. I cut more than what I actually needed, so I'll be saving this portion of it for another reef as well. Because what I did is I cut way too much. I cut 24 pieces uh, of 21 inch and then cut it in half. Well, if you only need 24, because 6, 12, 18, 24, all you're going to need is 12 pieces of the 21 inch cut into 10 so 12 by 10 or 12 you can do sorry 21 by 10 or you can do 21 by 11 and you're going to use 12 of them and you're going to cut those in half so 12 pieces of 21 inches that you cut in half that's not bad so I overcut everything I needed today and I'll show you like I really did overcut but I do have another um, beautiful flower I will be using in another tutorial. So I will be putting these safely away from the other mesh when I store it. So you're going to take two. Here we go again. Remember what I you need to do when you're making this because you're doing red, white, red, white. You always want to end it on an even number. Because if it's on an odd number, everyone, 
then you're going to have one extra red and one extra white. And that's not, it's not going to look right because we're doing the flag. Red, white, red, white, red, white for the stripes. So you're going to want to do an even number. So if you don't want to do six, then you will do eight in each section. That way you end it off on an even number and you don't have more red than more white. All right, so again, here we go. We're gonna pull gently, walk your fingers up to the middle, roll it in, grab it, pull gently to shape it. Pretty side should be facing up. You know, take it through. Make sure that they're the same size because we're going to overlap it over because we're not doing two at a time. We're doing one in each section. We're going to overlap this and it's going to be the same. Same little tails or small tails that you're, you're holding in. Very small. So the it should be the same size. Take it as tight as you can to the rim of the bar. Take your zip tie. I use zip ties because it gets it nice and tight and we don't have to worry about it unraveling. A lot of, and some people, you know, some people refurbish theirs if it sits for a year and it doesn't sell. Well, it's a pain in the bottom to cut those pipe cleaners off. So you can snip the zip ties if you're going to refurbish it because it's been sitting there a year or two and you're going to just reuse the frame and you want to refurbish it and throw it away. You can just snip those zip ties and you have a nice clean frame for your next project. Because some of you have written me and said, listen Carmen, well mine don't sell, blah blah blah. I was like, well you can always refurbish it if, you know, if it doesn't sell and you don't mind throwing, a, throwing it away if it's not selling refurbish the frames. I buy reefs that someone has done and they're selling them for a buck and they don't want them and it, they look awful. I'll buy it just for the frame and I'll take it apart and use that frame. So again, you're pulling, walk your fingers down, start rolling in, hold, pull, Pull, pretty side out. See how that pretty side is out? Under the frame. Look at how beautiful this is. It's just, I love this. It looks like lace. Just beautiful mesh. And they are running low, so this has become a very popular mesh since I started using it. Um, their sales have went up. Here we go, crisscross, down, down, start rolling it, roll it in, pinch it, pull, pull, use the pretty side on the outside, hold on Thumper, I'll let you out in just a second, that's my, that's uh, one of my fur babies, my husband's gone and he wants to go sit out there and wait for his daddy to come home, so. I'm going to let him out in just a second out of the craft room. He's the one that sits by um, our door and waits for his father. We're going to have a very hard time with him when he um, goes out to sea. Alright, there's one tail. This one is going to be a smaller tail inside. Hold it. Take your zip tie, flat side in, you'll hear the teeth grab. There we go, look how pretty. I'm going to take our red, well, and like I said, I overcut, so I have plenty to use along with those um, leftover rolls on my next project. There we go. There is six in each section, and if you double up, 
you're going to see that that is, you know, six red and six white, but six individual sections, which makes 12 pieces of mesh if you add both colors up. So again, pull, pull, walk your hands in, start rolling in, grab it very gently, you pull on the ends, under the bar, I like to hold mine with a rock to hold it in place. Then I take my next piece, gently pull, walk my fingers over, roll, roll, you are just rolling that in. I use this on a lot of my Christmas pieces. This exact, um, kind of exact design. You see me, I used three in each. I used three bars and filled them all up with the same color and went red, white, red, white when we did our um, gingerbread. And if you go, you'll see it. There's, I have like 12,000 views on that for Christmas time. It was a very popular, popularly. So here we go. Again, you can use your colored zip ties. You don't have any big red ones. But look, this is going to be covered up. You don't have to put the foamies over this to cover up the zip ties because we're going to cover it up with the blue. And the blue, I actually have colored zip ties. Let me let him out. He is going to sit there and be very upset with me. Hold on. Okay, so we have three more, and then we're going to do the blue. So we left over on our white. So I'm going to grab one, two, two, three, because there's six, there's three of each one in there. Like I said, I overcut this. So beautiful. It really is beautiful. I'll take these. I way overcut. But show you if you want to add. So if you feel you want to make this tighter, you would have to add two more in each one, which I don't think we need to do, because this is plenty. So you're going to squish this over, and you're going to add another red and then another white, and you're going to do that to each section if you want it to be tighter. So I need... Just one more of the red because there's already two there. Like I said, I have plenty of this cut. If you want to make more, you would just add, like I said. So we're going to finish this up, and then we're going to go to our blue. Now, because you're using the two bars, you don't have the flip-flop. See that? It holds its shape. No flip-floppy. No flip-flop. Which, I'll turn the camera up when we're done. So you can see, and I can hold it up and show you, there's no flip-flopping on this. Because you're zip-tying it two sections to a bar. Even the, the red, uh, blue is tight because it, the zip-ties are so tight on it, it's not going to flip-flop on you. So I'm going to show you that too. So corner, 
walk, roll in, roll in, roll in, roll in, pull, pull, pretty side, under the bar, put your rock on it, again, pull, Underneath your bar. Go. Under. Don't have a cable tie done, you can just pull it and then cut it with your fizzers. Now we're gonna go to red. Pull, walk your fingers in, roll it in. You want it. You don't want it to curl like that. You want to make sure that you have a fat. See, if you don't roll it in the right way, this can go sideways, and then you're not going to have that pretty petal. That's why we grab it by the center. Roll it in. There's that pretty petal because it's right in half and rolled in. That's your spearing. If you roll it wrong, it's not going to lay right. Pull, pull. This is a big flower. Pull, pull. In, start rolling in. Pull on the ends, take the prettiest side under that bar. Take both pieces together. I like to shape mine. This side needs to be up just a tad bit. This I need to pull up some more. There's baby little tails in the back. Take your zip tie. And we don't see any of these zip ties once we do the center of the flower. There's our last one. Walk your fingers down, roll it in in the center. Pinch it, pretty side, this is actually a prettier side, under the bar, remember I cut all this with the cutter, do you see how pretty this is? All of it was cut with the cutter, not a wood burner, because this is a different mesh, it's an eyelash mesh, it's really pretty. You, there's no need to cut it with anything. You can even cut it with scissors. There's no need for that. There we go. Under the bar. Baby tails. Make sure that it's nice. Make sure that you're going to be able to shape it. Want it to be the same height. Make sure you have a tail to grab with the zip tie. Otherwise, it's going to fall apart. Take your zip tie under those two pieces and mesh together. Put your zip tie in. We 
we go. And that's that. All right, so if you wanted to make this more, all you would do, like I said, is you're going to push it over and you can add two in if you want it to be thicker. So if you're going to add two in, and mind you, six is enough, but I'm going to show you. You're going to take a red and a white because it has to be even numbers. And like I said, six is plenty on each side, but it's on your preference. If you want to add, you don't add one, you're going to have to add two to be an even number. So that it's going to be red, white, red, white. Otherwise, it's going to be an odd number and you're going to have one extra red or one extra white. So you're going to take it, walk it to the center, start rolling in. Pinch it. Now mind you, I have six in each section, so this is, I'm just showing you by demonstration. So if I leave this in, it's only one section that's going to have it. But there's an option for that too, I'll show you. You can put eight in one section and six in another if you feel you need to. Or you can do eight in all of them. I honestly think you only need, because look how full this is, you only need six. Because it's full enough, you, you don't need eight pieces in each section. And the zip ties are so tight that it doesn't flop, like I said. So if you want to do this, let's see how it makes a difference. Let's see if this is what we want to do. If you're on a limited income and you only can afford 24, one roll of red and one roll of white, 24 pieces, then do the six in each section and you will be fine. If you have extra material laying around and you want to do the full out tighter one, then you're going to have to cut more because then it's going to be, instead of six, it'll be, you know, eight, 16, and then 16 and 16 is 37 pieces. So that's going to be a roll, you know, one roll and like, because one roll gives you 34 pieces. So it'll be one roll and three pieces of another roll. You'll need two rolls of white and two rolls of red if that's what you want to do. Honestly, I don't, I don't see the need for it. It's plenty thick with just six pieces. This is a little bit too tight for me. All right. But if that is what you want, that's what you can do. So we're going to show you the difference. And you're not going to see a difference. And I'm going to roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Hold, pinch, spear it underneath, you have baby tails, so if you're going to use eight in each section, that would be 34 white and 34 red, however, and see how it's still red, white, red, white because it's an even number. It has to be on an even number. So I would tell you this is with eight in the section. All right. This is with six, which six is fine. You can do six because the blue's going right over this, or you can do eight. All right, it's totally up to you. This one is eight, this one is six. So if you want to, just squish it over and add two in. 
Okay, so now that I have eight here and six here, I am a very nitpicky person. <laughs> very. And as you see, I squished it over so it's tight. So what I'm going to do... You squish them over. I can add those other pieces. You really don't need to. Like I said, I can't have one side done without the other. Plus, this will help you see. Six pieces is sufficient. So what I'll do is I'll put it in the list that you can do. I'm going to put 21 inch rolls, one roll of 21 inch mesh because that's what I use and you can cut it either into your 24 red and your 24 white or you can cut it into your 37 white and your 37 red, okay? Because if it's 6, 12, and 12 is 24 pieces. So there's two ways to make this. It's totally up to how you want it. Like I said, there's no difference. It's just it's tighter when you do this. Now I will say, if you're going to do the tighter, and you don't have to cover these backs, everybody. I cover a lot of them, but you do not have to cover these. Why? Because we're using zip ties. Nice, clean, beautiful backs. And I'll show you that in a second, too. So you no need to cover it. So here we go. Pull it in half. Walk your fingers down. Start rolling it. Scrunch it. Pretty side up. Make sure that you do that for the spearing. Or you're going to have the petals not looking right. And you're going to say, Carmen, my petals are curling in. It's because you're not spearing it right. You're not going down the center, rolling it in, and then grabbing it right in the middle and holding it. That's what makes it the leaves go in a flat way instead of curling up. So there's always a reason why I do things. Take your zip tie around that pretty petal. Remember, you will have little pieces of metallic. I, I like to trim as you go, but then you trim it right before you spray her down. And we'll go over that. I know I sound like a broken record, but I try to go over everything with you. Here we go. Pull. Find a... My table is very small, everybody. In, in, in. Scrunch under the bar. I like to take a rock to hold this pretty mesh down or a paperweight. Pull, walk your fingers down the center, start rolling in. Remember, I don't have a lot of room to work with. Make sure that you have that pretty, otherwise it's like this, and that's what we call the curl. You want your petals not to curl out because it's not going to lay right. It's going to curl there. You want it to be flat like this. There we go. That's why you want to spear it. You take this underneath. Pull. These have baby tails that stick out. Very little. This is going on top of the other mesh behind it. So it's double layering, which gives it a beautiful look. Like I said, this looks like lace. It's gorgeous. In. There we go. There we go. That is eight. Now I'm going to go over this. So if you don't want to put your zip tie over both of them, let's say you're doing a different center, and, but you don't want this bar to show, another way to put your mesh together. You put your zip tie over the first one, 
And then when you go to put on your second petal in the back, take the little tail that's sticking up from the first petal on, on bar two and zip tie, da, zip tie that together with the back petal and that keeps it from flopping and you don't see the seam. But we're covering this with the blue, so there's no sense in doing that. So I'm actually going to show you how what I'm talking about. So I try to teach some a new way of doing something each time we learn a flower. So we're going to take two reds. You know, pull on the corners, walk your fingers down, roll, 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 make sure this is pointed, the curl side should go underneath, so watch what I do. I'm going to go around bar two, so if you're using three bars, that would be bar three. I'm going to pull this up because I want to know how big I'm going to make that petal underneath. We're going to pull it up so it matches the one next to it. Remember, we still have to add white. We're going to take a zip tie, go around that little tail and the petal. There we go. Take your zip tie gun, tighten it. Then you're going to flip this up just for one second. You're going to take another petal, pull, pull, lock your fingers down, start rolling that center, pull it, make sure that you have that pretty petal. Take this underneath the bar, hold it. Take the one above it, instead of zip tying them together, and then take the tail of the one in front of it and your petal behind it. You're going to take your zip tie, you're going to go around the tail in front and around that petal with one zip tie. And ideally, you're going to want this zip tie to be as close to the bottom as possible, right here. And then you don't see that zip tie right here. And then you can, of course, if it's four bars, it's going to be way up here. You're not going to see any of that. If you're going to do a four bar same color, that's how you would apply tail, another one, tail, another one. And you would do two of those just like that, and you'll only have one zip tie to worry about. But you can do that as well. That's another way of applying your petals on. Let's take a white. Good thing I didn't put these up, because I'm very short. <laughs> I usually put things up and then I have to climb up to get them, or I call my husband the morning before, honey. Will you go get this? I can't reach it. And that's what I'm using today. He'll laugh. I don't like you. He'll say, so pull, pull, walk your fingers over, roll in, pull, pull. Pretty side. This is the prettiest one. See how it's shaped? So I'm going to put this one underneath. Um, anyways, he'll... Um, Giggle and he'll say, I don't like you walking on the stool because you get dizzy and you end up, I have passed out before, fell on the floor, all that. So if it's a planned one, he usually goes on the top shelf and gets everything for me the day before. And I started to put on my second shelf a lot of my colors I would think about using for the week. So, because I can't afford to fall. So walk your fingers in, start rolling. Remember, you do want to pull this to make sure that this is spearing. 
This is the prettiest one. So this would be the tail under. So if you're going to do the zip tie, like I said, you would have already zip tied that part together. Then you're going to take this part you would already zip you can take the zip tie from the, the tail from the one in front and then zip tie the back one with that and you won't see that zip tie so if you're having a special center there is other why other ways of hiding zip ties right besides color coordinating you can hide it by the tail so here we go let's put this on See, I had to add two in each section to even out that. So we have eight. So this is, we're almost done. Remember, I'm really picky, so I have to do, there's eight in all of these. I have to go with it. I am so, I guess I'm COD with my reefs more than anything. If I know it's there, I have to fix it, so... It's just me. So we're going to take the white because the red is going to end. And take the white, pull, lay it flat. Make sure you can overlap the corners or you can have your corners like this. Start rolling that in in the center. Grab it. See that's the curl side? We don't want that. We want the pretty petal side right here. Of course, I'm going to trim that as well. I'm going to get this underneath the baby tails. Put your rock over it. There we go. Pull, pull. Walk your fingers down. Roll. Start rolling in. You don't want to roll too much and too fast. You want to get both sides in together. Just roll it pinch it, make sure it's rolled. Now this one has two pretty centers, but I kind of like this one better. Two pretty petals on each side. I like that one better. Take the tail, pull it through. You know that's going to have a baby tail because it's the same size as the one on top. Pull it, try and shape it. Hold those two pieces together. Take your zip tie, go underneath those two pieces together. You're going to zip tie flat side up. You're going to hear it grab, hear it grab, the teeth grabbed. That means the zip tie is good. Go ahead, and there you go. You can leave the zip tie going up on the front because the blue is going over it and the sign is going over that. Normally, I have the zip tie in the back, and I try to move it to the side. So we have one more piece to make eight pieces in each section. So there'll be two recipes, 24 pieces, one of one 10 roll of each color, or you can do the 21 inch roll, which I did, and you can cut 36 white and 36 red. Well. Let's see, 8, 16, 37, sorry. It doesn't make any sense. It's 36. It's 36. It's an even number. 36. So, and like I said, usually when we cut our mesh, we have 360 um, 10-inch pieces we can get out of 10 yards. But I've run short before thinking I had 36 pieces and I've only had 34 because the roll, roll wasn't cut right. So you're, you know, you're better off if you don't have the 21 inch using the six in each one instead of the eight. So here we go, baby tail. That's what I call a baby tail. Nice and pretty on top. Take the two pieces together. Take your zip 
zip tie over both pieces, flat side in. Cable tie again, or you can use your scissors. Now we're going to apply the glue. So as you see, I have six blue as if we were doing that recipe. But if you're going to make it a tighter flower with those petals on top, then we're going to want a tighter center. So that means I have to cut more blue as well. So we're going to go same exact method. Pull and pull. Walk your fingers down and start rolling, rolling, rolling. Grab pretty side. This is the pretty part. So I'm going to take this underneath. First bar. I actually do these exactly, almost exactly in half. Almost, not quite have about the second ridge shorter than the one in front. It depends on how you cut it. Alright. I'm going to take a blue thin zip tie. I'm going to put the flat side going in and I'm going to pull these baby zip ties because they're easy to snap with that with the cable tie gun. Very easy because mine is very strong. There we go. That is seven. Take another one. Pull. So whatever you use for each color is what you're going to use for each one, including the blue. So if you use eight in there. I used eight for each color. Blue, red, and white. That's just me. But if you see the difference, you're going to see that this blue is going to stand out more because we used more. So it fills it in. It overlaps more and it gives it a tad bit more color of that royal blue, which is beautiful. Because that's usually where we put our stars on this. So we'll go over that as well. There we go. Because there's actually two ways you can decorate this. There's actually a bunch of different ways we can do this. So this one is eight. This one is six. So for your very eyes, I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to take this and put this up. I have so much to cut, like I explained earlier. I need to make room. Move this. Way more than what I needed, but that's okay. That's all right. I use it on another project. That tends not to mess up because it's got all that metallic in it. You hear what I'm moving? I'm moving my skillet, which bothers me because it's so darn hot. I don't want it to fall. I may just not ever use that because it scares me. Alright. So, see how thick this is right here? These are little strands. I like that blue overlapping. This is with six in it. This is with eight in it. Eight I like better than the one with six. So, I'm going to pull. Walk your fingers going down. Hold it, start rolling it in the center, grab it, pull, pull, see which one looks better. Because remember, it curls out, you don't want it to curl out. 
I don't like either one of these because it's not right. Again, pull, lock, roll, 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 hold it, under. Because this is a plain color, you can always just do seven if you don't want to do eight. But I show it in six, and I show it in eight, and I like the six the eight better. So there we go. It just it gives it that extra prettiness to it. Oops. I don't want to do clean. Zip ties, I don't know where they came from because Miss Beverly sent me these pretty blue zip ties. Thank you, Miss Beverly. I love you. Thank you so much. I'm going to take this, pull it, take my scissors, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, so I'm going to do one more. my leftover from when we made um, the red, white, and blue carnation. This is the leftover mesh. Under. Remember, you're going to have it just to your little rim of your finger the crease right here, the second crease, shorter than the one on top. Zip tie. There we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Got just a radiance. It's just gorgeous. So I will show you a couple ways we can decorate this as soon as I'm done. So again, one, two, hold it, walk your fingers over, take it, start rolling, 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 pinch, make sure you, this is pulled out, pretty side, that's the prettier side. We will take the tail under. I'm doing like right to the center there. The easiest way to do this is measure it to the one next to it. Once you got that measured, you can go to your whole center. It can be measured by the one next to it. Take it. Your zip tie, flat side in. These are very skinny little zip ties. Pull it. How pretty that is. Snip the end. Remember, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, just enough for this, and then I'll have to go cut me some more, which is fine with me. I have like I said, I have a whole roll of it that I never touched because I used what I had left over for my other project. So pull, pull, walk over. So all I would need to do is cut four pieces and then cut them in half. And that ain't nothing. That's very little product. Once you got that, roll, 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 roll. Pinch, pull. This is the prettier side right there. So this side is going under. Take it to the one next to it. Just a tad bit more I want to pull up. The one right next to it. Push it. Now some of them will be a little longer than the others because I tend to cut mine 
I know it's supposed to be ten and a half. Sometimes it cuts ten and a half perfectly, and then sometimes it cuts ten and then eleven. So depends on how you cut it when you're cutting the twenty-one inch. So that's why you'll see it vary a little bit. But when you fold it, you're going to fold it so it's exactly the same, laying out. All right. There we go. I'm going to do this one more time. I don't want to bore, bore anyone. So walk your fingers down and when you pull the sides in, out. Start rolling it in, both sides together. Roll it in, pinch, pull, pull, pretty side. That's the pretty side for your petal. Under the bar, tail underneath. See, this one is shorter, but you want it to be even with the petal next to it. Here we go. Take your blue zip tie around your pretty petal. just did three together. So I'm doing eight in each section. Like I said, especially with your red and white, it has to be an even number or you're going to have two reds or two whites somewhere in that equation and it's going to look odd. Um, I like the eight because it's fuller even though you can get away with the six so you know two ways of making this depending on how much product you have. And like I said, just trim your little pieces of foil. Look, it's, it's not gray. It's just loose pieces that actually some of them just pull right off. Alright. So do that. Go ahead, catch up to me. Put me on pause. All of you that um, I know a bunch of you went and bought this because I've been talking about making this particular wreath. So go ahead and put this together. Put me on pause. Um, finish it up so we can get going um, to the different options of your center. This is a great Memorial Day piece and it's also a beautiful um, Fourth of July. Please everybody be respectful of all our vets that have passed. This is uh, um, you know, nation, this is worldwide, one day a year that we honor our vets, our fallen vets. So please be respectful. That is somebody's brother. That is somebody's sister. That is somebody's baby that passed. You know, there are parents that are mourning their children that went off to battle and passed away. So be respectful, please. This is also, also National um, Seatbelt Check today and throughout the whole weekend. All the police nationwide are doing stops at different areas. They're already set up up and down our street. And they are greeting each car that comes by, each and every car that comes by. They're greeting and they're checking for seatbelts. Please buckle up, everyone, and please don't drink and drive. You can hurt somebody's brother, sister, and someone's child, and that's a guilt you will have for the rest of your life. They can't come back once they're gone. So be cautious of other people. I will be right back in just a second. Um, I did want to say hello to um, my younger students. I do get emails. My youngest is 10. Um, she's my little sweetheart that I always talk about. Uh, be kind. She gets bullied at school and she's been doing crafts to keep her mind occupied and this has helped her get through those horrible days at school from mean children. So please do not be mean to people. People have feelings and people do drastic things. They take their lives because they're so depressed. So a kind hello, a smile, a nod at the head, a shaking of even our elderly. They take their lives too. Depression is every age. It does not discriminate from one person. 
So be kind. You never know if you're saving someone's life today. Say hello. And also be aware that one of our highest suicide rates is our active duty military. Um, there is an 800 number for that, guys and girls. I have a lot of active duty that watches me. If you're feeling depressed today, please take advantage. Call that number. Um, it is completely, they can't give your name, nothing. It's, you know, it's just there for your support to give you someone to talk to and help you through your day today. Um, remember, you're important and we love you. And thank you for everything that you do for us on a daily basis. All right, um, that something my husband brought up and it just, it broke my heart. Um, we've had two friends uh, take their own lives that are active duty in the past couple of years. So that is very close to my heart. So please take advantage of calling for help and um, they will help you through this. Everybody gets depressed. So please don't take your life because your life is important. Your mom, your sister, your father, or your children are going to miss you when you're gone. And you leave a big impact on them, and they'll never forget you. So remember, your life is important, and we love you. So please, if you need someone, take advantage and, and call, and someone will be there on the other end of the phone to help you through this. I will get the 800 number for my vets. Um, and I also will see if I could find another 800 number for our children and stuff. Just because it's just for our vets, everybody, the 800 number, they'll talk to anybody that feels um, that they're depressed. So if you feel sad and depressed and need someone to talk to, call. There is someone there that cares about you, that will listen. They will actually listen to you. And remember, you are important and that you are loved, and you mean something to us, all right? So I'm going to finish cutting this up, and I will be right back. Okay, everyone. So let's show you. Let me move this up. It look like there was two, but it's red, white, red, white. This is with eight. Look how beautiful and how full this is, and it looks like lace. It does not flop. It stays on the bars, so we don't have to worry about that. So you have two options. Actually, more than that, but I'm going to show you two today. So let me cut this little zip tie. I forgot one zip tie in there. So options are, and actually you have three. You can take Hobby Lobby's little foamies, and you can go around the center, as I've seen many of you do, like I did with my Christmas wreaths, just put the foamies around the centers. Or you can take stars and you can glue them around the center. All right, and you can get these from Hobby Lobby, the little foamy stars. I have plans for these on our next flower, which hopefully I'll have out tonight. I got this sign from Walmart. And in the little ends of the sign is this metal that overlays. You're just gonna stick your, your tweed, your wire, just around there, and that'll hold it in at the bottom. At the top, it says, Home Sweet Home. Now, if you want, you can keep that on there. Miss Wendy, I got your letter. I love you, love you, love you. I'll go. I'm not going to read it to everybody, but I did want to tell you I got your letter today. I read it. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Um... So, anyways, I, I had to say that. You know how I love to hear from all of you. That means the world to me. Some things are between me and my people that write me. Um, but I got everything you said. Thank you for the idea, sweetie. What a wonderful idea. I can tell you're very talented. Thank you so much, and Thank you. So, you're going to take your wire cutters. And you're just going to cut the home sweet home off and actually if you take this because this all bends right off you can just pull it apart now you can use the sign if you want but I 
I'm not using the sign on this particular piece. See? This comes right off. And we're using a Walmart sign. I'll tell you how much that is, too. It's, um, I actually got this. When Hubby got paid, and I've been holding on to it, because as you know, I haven't been feeling that great this past week. So again, just be careful. You don't want to do that with your mesh. But you're going to take it and just... Okay. So I had to put another memory card in, so let's go over this one more time. <laughs> So this is a home sweet home that I got from Walmart and this sign and I'll put the product number on the tutorial and on the community page and on my craft page. But it's 588 from walmart.com, okay? And it's really it's a decorative calendar is what it's called, I can't even pronounce it right. It's $5.88. All right, and it says home sweet home. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the home sweet home off and I can actually use this on another piece, okay? Because I can take the metal hole puncher that, that was sent to me. Thank you so much. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and I can punch holes in this and attach it to another um, wreath. But we don't need this piece, all right? So here is, I took a piece of floral wire and I tweeted it through this metal that intertwines and it's closed off around the sign. And you just tweet it through and it goes right through. It's not going to fall out. Of course you need to tie it. I just only tie it once. You don't have to tie it that much. But then you have these little holes right here. So options are you can put your wire through there, but as you know that that's easily it can come out. So if you have patience, take a piece of wire and you just go underneath, watch me not get it, underneath, you want to kind of bend it, alright, so it goes up. So I'm going to go up, take it, see how I bent it through, through the center of the increase in the heart, right here. Take that wire, be careful you don't over pull it because wire can break too, and just tie it. And take this, stick it in where the blue is, make sure that it's centered. I'm going to show you the back because we don't have to cover this. This is actually a beautiful piece, a beautiful tribute. And you can still, if you wanted to, you can put little stars going through this as well. But sometimes simple is better because look, the heart says it all. It has the stars, it has the stripes, so it's beautiful. Let that speak for the piece, because if you do too much, you can take away from the look of it. So I'm going to go around this bar, right here in the back. All right, you're going to pull this up. Perfect, 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 perfect. So then take these two pieces, and you can, either way, you can go under this, like I'm doing, and I'm just going to tie it in a knot, here we go, same thing with this, I want it tight. I'm going to take one piece, go underneath, in between those two, there. Take this, 
untie it in a nice knot. Now you have two choices. You can take this and tie it. This is plenty tight, everybody. You can even, if you feel like you need to tie it again, tie another. But I'm going to cut these little pieces off. You know, I always cut mine too t too long. It's my famous thing. Cut the wires too long. Better long than short, though, right? All right. So I want to make sure that it's on real good. That's why I always do that. Oh. Here is your beautiful piece of art. So, not everybody likes a lot of stuff on their on their uh, wreath. And this is supposed to be a flower anyways, representing our flag. All right, so your choices are, you can take a couple stars if you want to, or you can even take some flowers and I'll show you. And put the stars on here if you want to drop decorate it with that or remember I give you ideas every time you watch my channel try to give everybody an idea how to decorate I love each and every one of you very much so now I'm going to take some little flowers these are dollar trees and they're their red white and blue daisies a dollar a bushel and you don't need a lot see how I'm cutting it I always need one on there and then I have to peel it off that's the only pain is the stickers don't like the stickers they're little tags Always try to make your artwork just come to life and I always try to be a little bit different and add something to something because you may have seen you've seen me use this technique before but I always try to make it different try to add something or teach you a different way of doing things all right now you can you know how I feel about these stems here. I take a little bit of glue, and honestly, I'll show you. <clears throat> okay, so we got two. That cost two dollars. So you can go in between and just start laying them. I always lay my stuff down before I glue it, all right? Because you don't know if you're going to like it. What if I don't like this? I may not like it after I have it laying down. So that's the biggest thing. Is I want to see what it looks like. And if I'm actually going to like it like this. I actually have bought this for... Um, a Father's Day cross that I was doing. Guess I'm gonna have to find something else. Cause I'm out. No more. We're lucky when we get this stuff in at my Dollar Tree. We're in a real rural area where I am, so I'm lucky if I get anything like this. There we go. So when you're getting up here, I do want to this you're going to kind of push under it when you glue it in so uh, with the sign on top of your not through the mesh it's going to go under the sign so the glue is going to touch the sign and the mesh and squish down because of the way this is laying but I only have two bushels so we're going to have to spread this out to make it fit. I wanted to show you what you can do. It's not hard to do. It's beautiful. You're not going to take away from... Because anybody can put stars on. 
but who's going to think about taking some beautiful flowers and just decorating this with red, white, and blue daisies from the Dollar Tree? Be different. That is actually adorable. So now that I have them laying out, just make sure, like I said, there we go. So what I'm going to do, this is why I decide if I'm going to cover the centers or not. I think I am out of the red for the center. I used my last one of the placemats of the red, but I do have a teal, and it doesn't matter what color you put the backing on it. Now I have green. I'm almost out of all of them. I've been a busy little girl. I'm completely out of my red, everyone. But I do have two teals and the rest are green. Alright, these are $1.49 at Dollar Tree. So if you're going to do what I do here, and of course, I make tutorials for all my subscribers. I don't make it for creators to copy me. And there is a rule on YouTube that is against copyright, so actually look it up. Actually, that's a rule for anybody because we're published. This is a published piece. So there's rules. It's called Fair Use Act. They have a rule on that, and they have a rule on copyrights. And that is nationwide, and that is the law, everyone. So I had one of my one of my friends who's doing tutorials who was upset. I love you, honey. You'll get through this, that somebody's been copying every single piece she's put out, which is not very nice and not respectful at all. So I'm going to do this. That's why I said it's for my subscribers to make, but not for creators to re, to copy and make tutorials on it. All right, it's for all my subscribers. Oh, so go on Carmen Cat, go on Carmen's Crafty Friends, everyone. I am so happy. We are getting so big, my beautiful family, and I am so proud of all your beautiful work you've been sharing on there. Inspirational. It has been so beautiful. And I just want you to know that I see everything that you put out and I love each and every piece that you are doing. And I appreciate all the love and support each and every one of you are giving me on YouTube and on my craft page. I gotta tell you, as you know, I asked for um, my prayer warriors to say a prayer for Miss Joyce's mom. She has congestive heart failure. Well, I didn't know if Miss Joyce wanted me to put it up, but it hurt my heart so much when I heard her voice talk about her mom, and she was so worried about her mama that I felt the need to go on to my craft page and say, attention all prayer warriors, I need you to pray for my dear friend's mommy. She's in the hospital. Now you can live with congestive heart failure for a very long time, everybody. You can, I have a friend, her mom was diagnosed at 50 and she died at 92. But the thing is, if you start to have a hard time to breathe, Water can get around the heart, and it can kill you. And her mom was having a hard time to breathe without even thinking that it was the heart. She was thinking it was something else, and it was she couldn't breathe. Thank God she got in the hospital, because if she would have waited another day, she might not have even made it. And because of all of your prayers... I am happy to say that within a day of everybody praying, as soon as I found out, I asked. She is doing well, and she will be going home. And it was a very close call. So thank you, my prayer warriors. Thank you for caring for one another. 
Um, Joyce commented on my page thanking everybody for the prayers because I honestly didn't know if she wanted me to share that it was her mama. And when she called me and she said, Carmen, thank you so much. Prayers work. Thank you so much. I felt so much better because I thought I was doing something wrong and I didn't want her to be mad at me for, you know, as I didn't, that's why I didn't put her name out there. But she wasn't mad at me, everybody. She was happy. And I'm crying because, look, my grandson got diagnosed with leukemia twice. Twice, everybody. We prayed and we prayed and we prayed. And if it wasn't for all of us praying and coming together, united as a family, as God's children, he does not have leukemia. And those doctors don't even know how that happened. So only by the grace of God and through prayers, that little boy does not have leukemia. So thank you. That's why I asked for prayers for, you know, my brain tumor because it works. It works, so I'm going to drive my eyeballs. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm very emotional. Um, Joyce is very close to me, as you know. Uh, Janet is like my sister, and we have Miss Diana. She's like a mama, and Miss Karen's like a mama. And Joyce is you, just, you're all so lovable, and I love you guys so much. So I just wanted to say... Thank you to all my family, and you are my craft family and my subscribers. You are my family to me, and I absolutely love you. And if it wasn't for you, I would not be doing what I'm doing, and my channel would not be doing so well. So, again, thank you. I had to tell you because Joyce called me, and... She said, thank you, sweetheart, for doing that for me because it really, truly made a difference. If my mom would have waited one more day, she would not be here. She had water all around her heart. She would have passed away. And she made a remarkable recovery in such a short period of time of them removing the fluid from her heart. So thank you once again. That's why I tell all my subscribers, I know a lot of you do not like, uh, some of you are only on YouTube, you don't like Facebook. Um, just so you know, my craft page is a, it is a closed group, private group, and we screen everybody that's in there. And the minute we see something that is going to offend somebody, or something that somebody, it, I see the true colors of someone. They're not nice. We delete and we will kick someone out because it's not a sales page. It's definitely not a sales page. It is not. Um, um, no one's allowed to be mean. Nobody's allowed to judge. God is our only judge. He is our father. And you are not supposed to judge each other. You are supposed to love one another inspire one another and be there for each other so I don't like any nonsense like that on my group so we are very very and we do see where um, I have had some terrorists try to get in like I said uh, my husband's military and he even goes over it so you're not getting in just letting you know it this is a very secure group and we are a bunch of lovable men women, young adults, and children are on there. So we're a family. So no nonsense. Okay, so in case you're wondering what's going on right here, I did, I decided I wanted to just add a little more of that beautifulness to our wreath. We have red, white, and blue stars. Now these particular ones came from Walmart. When I went down um, to Dollar Tree, I think it was, because I only had enough to grab two bushels of those flowers. Like I said, my intent for those flowers was for a Father's Day wreath, so that'll, I'll have to figure something else out. I have some other type. Um, they do have their lights for a dollar at Dollar Tree, so you can use 
the Dollar Tree lights and they are just like this, like the Walmart. I think they're a little bit shorter. I'm not sure. But as soon as I can get some more lights from Dollar Tree, I'll show you theirs compared to Walmart's. But Walmart's isn't that bad, guys. It's only $1.98, okay? And it takes two AA batteries, which you can get from Dollar Tree for a buck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put the batteries in this. And I'm going to cut out the back because you're going to end Dollar Tree ribbon too. We're trying to make this as cheap as possible because this we're trying to do budget friendly. That is part of the reason why I love Paper Mart so much because they are not expensive, everyone. And you get the best quality mesh for the money you're going to pay. Um, like I said, $1.40 a 10-inch roll of standard or two-toned mesh for 10 yards, 10 inches is not bad. And I am a big fan of their two-tone. That's one of my most favorite beautiful colors. And did I did not? I did. I'm going to have to replace that one. Don't do what I did and cut your... I'll have to cut one up and put it on there. That's fine. I'll fix that off camera too. See, I'm talking too much and not paying attention. You get foggy brain and you don't think about what you're doing. Everybody does it. It's completely normal. So when you're cutting this, please be careful you don't cut your fingers. You do want to cut it a little bit bigger than the actual frame, all right? With this, when I use my 8 inch, I can usually do two to cover the backs of two reefs of the 8 inch, all right? And you can take this on your 10 inch as well and save pieces of it. And you can overlap pieces because there's other things that I cover as well. So, as you see, I cut it a little bit larger than the frame itself for the 10 inch. And right here is going to be a little bit shown because you're going to put your ribbon right here. So, I'm going to show you how to do that now that this is cut. But, now I have to figure out and take this out. I do have to get this um, where I accidentally cut a piece of mesh, which is fine. Even though we covered the sign down, maybe I should show you because this is a good opportunity to show you how to fix that. Because we all do this. It's part of crafts. Nobody's 100%. So I'm going to move this over. Great thing about zip ties, I am going to have to cut another piece because I cut exactly what I need. But Keep your blue out, everyone, because you are going to need it for our next um, flower. We're doing another Memorial Day flower, and you are going to love it. It's a patriotic one. And that is my very next one I will be doing right after this. So this will be publishing while I start taping our next uh, patriotic flower. As you know, just like I said... On everything I am a, a proud proud active duty spouse and I honor all services and I am so thankful for what you do for our country and I love you guys so much every man and every woman is important to me because I lived the life you know the my husband was gone for a year straight before I got to see him and a lot of times when they're on missions there's no we get nothing we don't even get a letter nothing but no news is is <laughs> our saying is no news is good news um, that's how what we live by and it truly is no news is good news as much as I miss them you dread that car ride up to your driveway you dread that phone call you're on edge when you see a number that you, you're not familiar with. You start to shake because that is the fear that you're going to be that spouse that's going to get that phone call telling you that your husband passed away. So it happens all the time, just so you know. So I put it at 23. I'm going to cut it at 12. Like I said, if I like to cut mine a little bit longer. You can cut it right at 10 if you're using the 10 inches. If you're using the 21 inches, you have plenty. So you can cut it at 11 like I do. 
just gives you that little extra um, just in case you want to trim. Like I said, with this, you don't get any fray, which is great. So right at your 10 and a half inches, here we go. There we go. Absolutely no fray. So I really, really love this mesh. So I'm going to take this little piece, and I'm going to go and put these batteries in after I show you. So the good thing is we didn't cover the back, and you saw, of course, I had a brain fart, and it cut right through just that one piece of mesh right here. So, and it's a single piece because, you, as you know, the glue, we only used one piece, so I'm just going to take that off. But if you're going to double your, do two pieces, save this because you can put the piece over it and you won't even see it. But because it's just one piece, of course you're going to see the cut in it. And who wants to do that? So I want it to be beautiful and perfect. I don't want anyone to be upset with me. And nothing's 100%. So just pull, walk your fingers down. Remember, roll in, roll in, roll in. Pull on that. Now make sure that the pretty side is out. That's the pretty side to me. I'm going to go underneath that bar. All right. And remember, all this is covered, so you don't even see it because we're using blue ties. And when this moves over and we put the flowers on, you're really not going to see anything. So here we go. Here we go. We get a little blue zip tie. Take it around as close to that bar as I possibly can. now it's fixed. Good, thank goodness. So see, you can still fix it. Still fix it. Anything can be fixable. So what I'm going to do right now is I am, um, like I said, we have the flowers we got to put on. I know many of you are asking about the lights. Um, so I do want to do that and we need to cover the back. And then I want to hang this up so you can see how beautiful this is. We do have another flower we're going to be doing too. So let me go ahead and put this in and I will be right back. Thank you for your patience, everyone. And I'm sorry for crying. I'm very sensitive. Very sensitive. Love you, Joyce. Glad your mommy's doing well. Love you. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So I had to kind of do the batteries on my own because my husband, um, him and a bunch of the guys from, you know, different... They're all military men. We have, um, they're planting clover and stuff like that. So they've been planting everything and plowing fields and doing all that outside. As most of you are starting to do or have done at the beginning of spring. They planted clover and because of all the rain we got, it was planted two days ago and it's already... <laughs> It's already green, like a field of clover already. They were like, you got to see this. And I was like, wow, that was fast. This, we've been getting a lot of rain though. So I'm going to go over the bracket in the back of this wreath with some Dollar Tree ribbon. Because remember, we're covering this. That's the first thing I'm doing. And you want to make sure that when you hang it, it's going to be centered because you have that heart. You don't want a lopsided heart, which is fine. I'm going to take this and you can take, um, you can also take, because I also use the wire too, which is your wire you get off of Amazon. Actually, I should probably do that, but I've already put this on. I'm going to use what I have. I use this for my vines and that cost that adds up after a while. So I'm going to fold this in half, just like this. Ideally, you're going to want like an inch, inch and a half type of ribbon for a do door hanger. Make sure it's, I put it where it's just a door hanger, so it's right beneath underneath your petals. No biggie. 
a knot. I said, it's just a, a door hanger. That's all this is. Alright. So, and you can, you can do a little bow if you want. Some people do bows. I usually just make my nice and tight and secure in case it rains. It's going to hold it up. And I cut off the ends because it's just for a door. It's a door hanger. Especially when you have something this big and you need to cover the back. Alright, so here we go. Now we want to put on our lights. So with these lights, I just took a little screwdriver, loosened this up, and then popped out these this end to put the batteries in. Make sure that it's on. All right, that way you know it works before you go through all that work putting this in. So what I want to do is you know we're going to line this up. So what I'm going to do, see, do these both do pop off? Yay! Because this is what I do. They pop off, so they're going to stay. So I'm going to push it underneath. All right. Pop. Not all of these, the tops pop off. That's why I'm so excited about this. But I want to make sure that you're going over the bar too. Because that's what's going to hold it in. So make sure it's over the bar. Under the bar, I mean. In between the bars. Push it through. I don't know how the Dollar Trees are. Sometimes the Dollar Tree ones, you can't pop the tops off. And then sometimes I got them where the tops just pop off. So I haven't used theirs yet. This is Walmart's. So I just want to make sure in case you go buy a bunch of them and the tops don't pop off. Because then you're going to be mad at me. And I don't want you to think that I said that the tops pop off. And they don't. Not sure about those. So remember, I'm not sure if their tops pop off, but I do know they have this almost the same ones there with this red, white, and blue stars because I did see them. All right, I'm going in between. I'm all I'm doing is I'm going over two of the petals. Pushing the light through. Hopefully we have enough. I might have to get that one. I might have to go three. Let's try three. All right, one, two. There's three. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm counting the petals going underneath the first bar in between one and two. One, two, and three. Then you're going to flip it over, put the tops on. So we will go over that as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Wow, so this one is, but there's one right here, so there's four. Remember, uneven, the numbers, that's why you try to do even number, that's what I meant by I haven't always have a one extra. Because I did three, we have one extra that we're going over. It's perfectly fine, because if you go over four and three, there's where you started. All right, and that's at the bottom of it, so gently pull this over. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take your tops red white I 
think one fell out of my hand because I was kind of sore. I felt it. Yeah, it did. White. Or is that the uneven one? It's probably the uneven one. <clears throat> Get around and we start to put this on. It's right there. I like to keep mine on. So when we put the back on, you're going to see how this stays on for you. Alright? So gently push your top down. Back up. It's going to tighten right up. But if you feel that you need to tighten it up, all you do is take, this is why we have beautiful zip ties. You're not even going to see it because the petals will cover that once you squish them back. Take it over. I will Let me move one over to here so you can see. This is all before you cover the back. Take a zip tie. Take it around. So watch. A zip tie is around the light. Alright, take that one end. And it's not hard because you can flip this over, tweet it through, and then push it up. And you can even attach it from the back side. So let's do that next so you can see. You want to make sure that this is right here. Okay? So I'm going to put this through the back to cut off. This over, push this side in the back. Alright. Gently hold this down. Lift it over. Because you're going to see it. Alright. So here's a zip tie. Wish I had a zip tie, Carmen. I'm going to hide it from yourself. That's fine. Here's one. I'm going to take this right here. Just make sure it's loose enough to pull it on the other side. So around the bar. And your light's already standing in front. Take your zip tie over that. So 
all you're going to do, squish this over, zip tie over, over the bar, over the light, over the bar, all you're doing. See what I'm doing? We already placed them back there, so they should be fine. And you should give it a little slack where you can move it and push it through. Once everything's all sealed up, it's, it's good to go. There you go. There's my zip tie. You don't have to go over every one of them. Unless you feel the need to, but you don't have to. Because they should be threaded in nice and tight. All right. So we have enough. Be careful. Do you remember last time I did this? Christmas time? I think it was Valentine's Day when I was making a heart. I chopped, <laughs> chopped the wire right off when I was cutting the zip ties. That was craziness. There we go. Now we apply the back of it. You already have your ribbon on. Again, and remember, you have to trim this up once you're done too. Trim it and spray it. We'll go over that detail. I go down two little notches on the plastic mat that I get from Walmart. Use the plastic ones because they are way more sturdier. No more poking holes through it. It's already got holes threaded right through it. It's nice and it's so secure. It's not cloth, so you don't have to worry about cutting it and it fraying everywhere and falling apart. So it's $1.47 at Walmart. I'll have the product number at the end of this video, and I always put it on my community page and on my craft group. So you'll be able to look that up too. So here we go. And you can flip those little sides of your zip ties over once this is securely on. All right. Oh, here it is right here. This is important right here. You take a zip tie. Put it inside, going around the, the first bar, in between bar one over bar one in between the two bars around the wire to the batteries right here that way they can click it on and click it off and it's nice and it's secure it's not going anywhere all right that way it's not hanging drooping down so as you see this is nice secure it's clean, it's not going to scratch anyone's wall, it's covered, you don't have to worry about it falling apart, cloth, those mats, sometimes if you've cut them, um, certain brands, if they're like a cotton made, if you cut them, they tend to fray. Also, if they're outside and they get wet and they're already falling apart, they tend to fall apart more. So these are complete plastic which is a lot more heavy duty, rain resistant, and it holds everything nice and tight. No taking your um, hole puncher to punch holes in the back. It's all done for you. Nice, easy, 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 easy. I love it. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth back. So now we're gonna flip it to the front. Move this. Remember, we still have to trim and spray so everything's where I want it. Oops. I don't want to take that off, but these are easy to pop on and pop off. Just wanted to give it a little more room. So you're not really going to see the stars because I'm going to be adding the flowers. But if somebody wanted to put stars around their heart, they didn't want to use the... Um, Foamies, this is a good way to do it, right? So I wanted to show you several ways to decorate. 
because this is an important holiday for me. So I'm going to take these. Now that you know there is something underneath that cover it, here's your mesh. And these are your pretty little daisy heads that are a dollar a bushel from Dollar Tree. Now, I have a glue pot. And the reason why I use a glue pot is because it's nice and thick and it tends to stick better. Anytime you use a um, floral, if you use the glue gun, it can get too hot and it'll be like water and it won't stick properly. So you want it to be gooey. The gooey, the better. It sticks nice and firm and you don't have to worry about it. So I take it. Now I do want to, well, it's fine, but I still want it a little bit more closer towards the stem. Take it underneath and just lay it there. And it's going to stick right there to your zip ties. Right here. Now you can take the flower heads after you apply that on and we can start to, you can take them and glue them down. I'll show you that in just a second. You do want to place these in first. Like I said, get the whole bottom of where you cut it all the way up to the leaf part, all right? Take it under and lay it down. And it will stick to the mesh, the very tip of it, and to the back of the sign. And any loose glue is going to fall on top of the mat that we put on the back to protect it. And take another one. This one has a little bit of the tag on it. I got it. Again, if you're using your glue skillet, be very careful. I get so hot. Um, I have one. I'm actually getting scared of it because it's so hot. And you can't move it around. You'll get burned. So I actually like the glue pot better. It's like $8, $10 on Amazon Prime. It's a great price. And it's small. It doesn't take a lot of room out of your craft room. Because I only have so much room. You know, I'm in an 8 by 10 so um, I don't need, you know, got to be, got to organize. And I just like the smaller one better. For me, I like the smaller one. Do you have to put a lot of glues in it as you go? But I like it. I think it's perfect. And again, this is the glue pot. Eight, ten dollars on Amazon. It's not a bad price, everyone. It's a great price. I'm missing. There's the leaf. I kind of want to keep the foliage on this because I think the green gives it extra. Plus, we want to take the glue gun to put the little heads down on this. So remember, what's gluing to the back of everything is the stem and the leaves. Because right there at the leaves is a pressing onto the back of the sign. So, I'll show you what you do afterwards. This just tends to stay on better. And you just, and it's neater without getting all that glue everywhere. There you go. Just start to fill it in. And you can have the flowers going out like this. Or you can do what I'm going to show you how to do in just a second. I do want that light to show. There we go. And the light does show, especially outside. They'll see it. It's just you're inside the house right now. Here we go. Over. So, so pretty. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Love it. One more. Then we'll start to press this down and I'll show you how to get it. We're almost done, everybody. My tutorials are a little long, but like I show you from start to finish, um, if you think it takes an hour to make a wreath, that's not exactly true. You may see some of it, but you don't see all of it if it's Usually it's a couple hours, and um, if you're detailed and show covering the back and the ribbon, it's a lot longer than that. That time all adds up. Let me get the back of this. My little light pop. Little star fell off. 
Just trying to get that on. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we got the basis of my heart where I want everything. So now you take your glue gun. All you're gonna do, let me move this so it doesn't knock over the skillet or anything. So I'm just gonna take just a dot. And we're gonna press it. And I'll show you how to get rid of the little, see I dropped a little glue on the leaf. That's the one thing I hate about glue guns. But we can get rid of that. And I'll show you how that burned. That really burned. There we go. I'm just pressing it. Or, once you get that stem on there, make it easier. Let's do this a little easier. I do not want anyone to get burned. Take this in your glue pot. My glue gun is extremely hot. Dip the edge of it and stick it on the foliage. All right? Watch. Down. Glue pot. Very little. That'll eliminate your spider webs everywhere. Down onto the leaves that we pre glued on there already. And this is just going to give it a little bit to stick. And that I'll show you how to get rid of in just a second. There we go. Just a little bit of glue. Hold it down. Nice and pretty. There's another piece. You can even put it on your. I really burnt the top of my pinky. That hurt. I don't like glue guns. I'd rather use that. I don't want it to be totally uh, on that heart though. So take it. I want that light to show. A little bit of glue. And the lights will show when you turn off the light. So don't worry about that either. Another one, a little bit of glue, so all you're doing is you're going around that heart and you still have your lights behind it. the foliage right here. You can put the, put your little daisies on that and it will hold it on so you don't have to worry about that either. It doesn't have to be in any particular order everyone. Make it yours. Make it beautiful. No particular order. Flowers don't grow in order. They have their own way. Nothing's perfect. Like I said, I'll show you how to get rid of all that, too. One extra. I can actually use that though. I 
look around. See how beautiful this is? Now I'm going to go hang this up. Alright, so last thing you do now is, of course you're going to have spider webs. It's completely normal because the glue is not um, high temperature like your glue gun. But this is easy to get rid of everyone. So before you do that, which should be your very last part of the ring, is you're going to Go ahead, through your wreath, you're going to trim any ends. And like I said, this does not fray. These are like metallic pieces, little strays here and there. That's, that's it, because it's only metallic and eyelashes. There is no way it can fray. It's eyelashes. That's why it's called eyelash mesh. It's designed different. It looks like lace. So you're just going to go through it, trim off any, any ends that you want gone. You're going to take your E6000, you're going to spray this really good. Spray it twice outside. Spray the front, spray the side, spray the back, spray it heavily, spray it once, let it dry, it dries clear. Then spray it again, let it dry, it dries clear. Then you're going to take your acrylic sealer. This is the most important part. Acrylic sealer is going to seal the ends and it also helps protect it against sun damage. So this is the most crucial part that I tell everyone. We have a gloss, which mainly I use is gloss, and I think my other one's outside. I do have a, um, find it. I have a gloss. Here's your gloss. And my burlap. I don't use gloss, so that's why you don't see that one. So I will show you. Oh, that's gloss, gloss. I have a ton of these. Gloss. I think I may have used it all, everyone. I have a flat and I have a gloss. And um, the flat just says acrylic sealer on it. It says matte finish. That's your matte. That's not gloss. It's a matte finish. I use it on all my burlap pieces. As I said, I think that one is actually outside because I am sealing a burlap piece. The one that everybody wants me to do <laughs> a tutorial on, which will be coming soon. So I did want to tell you that. So anyways, this is shiny. So go ahead and I would seal this with your gloss. But I have gloss and I have a, a matte finish, which is not a glossy finish. It's a matte. The matte I use on my burlap and I use on um, pieces that aren't so shiny. And gloss is for a shiny touch. I spray it twice. It helps protect it against the sun and it dries clear. I do want to hold this up for everybody to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Turn the camera up. I don't have um, one of those things that you put your reefs on to stand it up that I see everybody using. I don't have one of those yet, everybody. So I either hang it on the wall or I'll hold it up for you to see. So I'm actually going to hang this piece on the wall so you can see it. So I'll be right back. Um, we're doing really well on our subscribers. I'll go over that and where we are on that so you know when our next drawing is because we're getting close, closer every day. We're very close now. So probably within the next two weeks I will be giving away that $50 Amazon gift card and the uh, zip snip. So I'll be right back. Okay, before I show you the prop, my flower hung up, I wanted to go over this. I have what's called a heating tool. It's a, like a blow dryer. You can use your blow dryer. I got my heating tool off of Amazon. And this is to take away and melt all your spider webs and any glue that drips like on your mat or on your mesh or your burlap. 
this will melt it and take away all the spider webs. It's an awesome tool. I have I saw it on Amazon. I just started seeing it in craft stores now. So it's a great tool to have. If you don't have one, you can use your blow dryer. But remember, your blow dryer can sometimes get too hot if you get too close. This takes me about two minutes to get rid of all the spider webs on my um, on my wreaths, and it's called heat tool. All right. As far as the mat, and I was right, this was outside. This is your matte Mod Podge and this is your gloss. I use the matte on burlap and I use the gloss on most mesh reefs, okay? So uh, now I'm going to go take you so you can go see the finished product. And we will go over all our numbers. Remember, we do have another patriotic flower I will be putting out. This one coming up is a big, big request that... Probably about 30 of my subscribers have emailed me, written me, and have asked for this particular flower. So, it's not a rose, everybody. I do have a rose coming out, but it's not a rose. But it is it is a definitely one of your flowers. And I did miss two little pieces, but as you see, when you put them flat, you don't need all of them. Which I can use this on another... Um, project I have so I will be right, right back everyone look at how big beautiful this piece turned out I'm really happy with it so our numbers as of right now is seven hundred and sixty seven thousand fifty nine seven hundred and sixty seven fifty nine seven hundred and sixty seven thousand views so when we hit eight hundred and fifty thousand we will be doing our giveaway. We are like 80,000 views away from giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. You have to be a subscriber to win. We are at 900, 545 subscribers, everybody. At 10,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a zip snip. And that is like what? That's. 455 subscribers to go. I usually average about 500 a month. So that will be hitting really shortly and I will be giving away a zip snip, which is a power cutter, to one lucky subscriber. Everyone have a very, very blessed weekend. Happy Memorial Day. Love all of you and I shall see you very shortly for my next tutorial. Bye!